All right, here we are at 44 Fortress. Nice quiet neighborhood. We're on the east side of 95, so a little bit closer to the beach. You can see you have a nice green space back behind. This is a new build, 2023. Three bedroom, two bath, about 1,800 square feet. Nice clean exterior. Um, well trimmed on the painting. Don't really see a whole lot of overspray or anything, so it looks really nice and clean. Um, great garage setup. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Coming in the front entryway, you have some nice landscaping around with the mulch and different bushes. We have a nice glass uh, inserts around the door as well. Coming into the entryway, nice high ceilings throughout. I believe these are 10 foot ceilings. Um, nice tile throughout and a, a good color. It's a a little bit bright, but uh, not obnoxious. And this is the main living space. So it is kind of an open concept. You have the kitchen, your island, uh, that would be your dining area over there. And then this is all the living space. You have two guest rooms over here, and then you have the primary suite over here. Here we have the entry to the laundry room. You've got your washer dryer hook up and some storage in here. And then coming out to the garage off of the laundry room, we have the garage here. You have a basin sink. And I like how they do the uh, air conditioning unit. The air handler is up top so that you can pull a car all the way up to the wall. Gives you a little extra storage room in the garage. Uh, block construction, as you can see. And you do have the attic access as well. So coming back in, through the laundry room. We're looking back towards the front door. We'll go check out the kitchen real quick here. And again, nice uh, dine-in kitchen. You have plenty of space for a table that could seat six. And nicely finished kitchen. Nice big island with the granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, uh, nicely finished um, cabinetry, although they may need some hardware if you wanted to add them, but I don't think you necessarily need them, but gives it a nice clean look without. And then you have this kind of brick effect on the backsplash. Um, gives it a really nice look. We do also have pantry here, which is a good size. And that's looking back towards the dining and then your living. Like I said, that's the laundry. That's the primary. We'll check that out in just a moment. You've got the front doors right around the corner there. Here we have the guest wing. So you have two different bedrooms here. This has nice tile floors. You do have hookups for ceiling fans or light fixtures in each of the rooms, although they are not included with the house. And good size closet, enough that it has a wrap around. A lot of the times they're only maybe two feet deep. This one looks like it's closer to about three or three and a half. And then coming around here, we have the second room. Again, nice big window, lots of light. You have the fixture to do the hookup for a ceiling fan. And this closet, uh, you've got the slider slider doors there as well. <clears throat> and then coming back around the corner here, we have our guest bath. Nicely appointed again with the stone countertop. Nice lighting, tiled uh, tub and shower combo. And um, that's the guest bath. We do have tile throughout the house. Again, new, new build, so all in really good shape. And I think it matches pretty well. There, there are different tile between the living space and the bedrooms. This is coming into the primary suite. You have your own separate entrance with the architectural arch there. Again, high ceilings throughout. Nice big window, bringing in lots of light. Good size space in here. Uh, easily fit a king size bed. 
and still have space for a dresser, chest of drawers, maybe even a little seating chair. And then this comes around to the primary bath. I will let you know they are working on some tile work here in the, in the shower. We have the primary closet, walk-in closet here with pretty good space in it. We have the water closet right here for the toilet. Nice privacy. And then this is, they're replacing the tile right here. But uh, the shower has a good space to it. Nice tile work throughout. You even have the little transom window, brings in lots of natural light. And we've got a shower head with the bench right below it. So you can relax. Nice mitered glass all the way around. We have a dual vanity here with um, two sinks, nice big mirror, good cabinets. And then we also have a linen closet, which is a nice size linen closet here. Normally it's about a third of this size for a linen closet. We're gonna come back out and go out the backyard and see what that has to offer. So coming back out through the primary we're coming around the corner here and this is the sliding glass door nice oversized sliding glass door again brings in lots of natural light slides really nice um, I'm pretty sure that's impact resistant glass there and we have good tile floors uh, high ceiling out here you do have a light which I would assume Assume you could probably also attach uh, just a ceiling fan with some lights to it if you like. Screened in, plenty of space for a barbecue and a table. And this is all screened in here. And then as we come out, this is your view on the backyard. Um, what I would do, being that this is preserved, I don't think this is ever going to get developed as of right now. Um, it is considered preserve. Probably do like a chain link across the back so you keep the green space uh, view. And then do like a white vinyl privacy fence along the side. Uh, or you could just tie into the fencing that they have. So this is down the one side of the house. Uh, nice space here. Again, plenty of yard. A couple of trees, good vegetation. Looks really... Uh, appealing and then coming around to the other side of the house that's where we have the AC unit and it's a little bit guarded by some uh, landscaping there to kind of make it look a little bit nicer but that should do it for 44 Fortress let me know if you have any questions